Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's video, you get to see me attempt Dutch pour with a black background. I've got all my paints ready, so let's get down to it. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tish and I am the artisan and owner at Happenstance Furniture and Sundries. I tried a uh, Dutch pour, my first one ever in my lifetime. Um, and I love the way it looked, but this time I want to use black. I want to see if I can get a similar effect with black because most of the Dutch pours I've seen have been with white. So let's give that a whirl. First thing we're going to do is this is a custom blend of teal and a custom blend of purple and this is artist loft um, metallic gold and then this is a, a kind of a creamy ivory color that I came up with as well I do use artist loft paints for all my paintings so far. None of these paints have any serums or silicone or any um, dimethicone, nothing in them except for Floetrol paint and water. All right, let's put the black on the canvas. Okay. Let's start with this ivory. All right, let's let her rip. Okay. I really like that. I'm not a big fan this right here so we're gonna pull this out there now let's give this a light torching There. I'm gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. We'll come back and check it out then. It's been 20 minutes. Let's go in for our close up. I really like this one. I like this one better. I like this method better with black than I do white, I think. It, it's not as wispy and airy on the black. It's more cosmos and cool stuff. I, mean, I don't know about you, but I really like this. Especially this corner right here. It's like secret. It's like slightly hidden. It looks so cool. And in the middle, it's almost like a rainbow out in space. I know there would no, be no such thing, because, you know, it just wouldn't happen because of all the science stuff behind it. You know, lack of oxygen, and therefore lack of water, and therefore, you know, be freezing, freaking cold. But, I really like that one. We're going to try this again. Different colors on the black background. And maybe we'll try some dimethicone or silicone or something. Because I'm really loving this. Intellectual inquiry for today. Since we were kind of talking about space and space travel, I was curious to know what would be your one 
destination that you'd love to travel to before you leave this earth? Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to your answers. If you found value in this video, please click that like button. And if you like this video and would like to see more of these types of videos, click that subscribe button and click that little notification bell as well. That'll let you know when we upload new content and when we go live. Thanks for joining me. Peace, love, and happiness.